Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips Podcast. My name is Justin Seeley and I'll be your host. It's been a long time since you heard from me, but I'm back. That's right, I'm back and the podcast is kicking again. The podcast will be weekly. New content coming to you each and every week. Um, I'm going to do my very, very best uh, to keep that promise this time. But I have more information on the podcast and how you can be a part of it and all that stuff coming up after the tutorial, so stay tuned for that. Right now, let's get into it. There's been a lot of requests um, over the last couple of years, people wanting to know um, how to create stylized text in Photoshop with two strokes on the outside of it. I saw a technique recently that was done that was a good technique, um, <clears throat> and I decided to kind of expand on that a little bit and show you my way of doing it my way of doing a double stroke. It's a little bit different, doesn't involve quite as many steps, and uh, works well for me. So, as you can see, I have a double stroked text here, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and throw the layer styles away that I was working with there, and I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. So, the first thing we need to do, of course, is add our first stroke to this. That's relatively simple. I'll just go to the FX icon and choose Stroke, and that'll launch up my layer style dialog box. Now you can do an inside or an outside stroke, it really doesn't matter. For this particular case here, I think I'm going to do an inside stroke. So I'm going to change my position to inside. And three pixels is a little harsh, so I'll do two pixels for the size. Everything else pretty much stays the same. Now you can change your color to whatever you want. I'm going to leave mine black for now. So that's stroke number one. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. Now, what about stroke number two? Stroke number two comes along when we add an inner glow. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, yeah, I'm sure that adds a little glow inside, but it's not, uh, it's not exactly a stroke. Well, it can be. We're going to do that by coming up here to the blend modes. First of all, let me zoom out a little bit. Change that to normal. Change the opacity to 100. I'm going to change the color to white. Here's where it gets fun, right here. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to change the technique to precise. You'll see it kind of straighten up in there. Change the choke to 100. See your stroke? And change the size to whatever you think it needs to be. In this case, I'm going to go with 4 pixels. That's just a 1 pixel offset from what we did before. Now, hit OK, and boom, I have nice, neat, double stroke text here inside of Photoshop. No need for any extra layers or anything else, and only two layer styles right there. You could save that as a layer style, add it to whatever text or object you wanted. It would automatically give you that double stroked appearance. Now, what if you wanted to add even another stroke? You could go with an outer glow. You could add you know the outer glow, the inner glow, and the regular stroke have three strokes if you wanted to. So it's a very, very flexible way to work, very easy way to create double stroke text here inside of Photoshop. So that's it for this episode, the rebirth, <laughs> if you will, of the Photoshop Quick Tips podcast. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me in several different ways. You can drop me a line via Facebook at facebook.com slash Seely, that's S-E-E-L-E-Y, FB, as in Facebook, facebook.com slash SeelyFB, or you can find me on Twitter, at Justin Seely, S-E-E-L-E-Y, or you can just drop me a line via email, justin at Seely.tv. Eventually, we're going to have a new podcast page where you can submit your questions and things like that via the podcast contact form. The site is not live yet, so... Uh, won't point you in that direction. When it does launch, it will be PhotoshopQuickTips.com, so keep checking back for that. But until then, just use Twitter and Facebook and email to get in touch with me. It's the easiest way to get a hold of me. I try to answer each and every one I get. I want to thank you guys for all the continued support. Uh, I still get tons of email from viewers, so I know you guys are still out there. Um, we still get about 50,000 downloads a month, even though the show hasn't been on the air in almost two years. So thanks for the support. Thanks for everybody who follows on Twitter, keeps up with Facebook, sends me messages, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. So I'm doing this show for you guys. Everything is going to stay the same. Everything's going to be free. 
and it's going to be better than ever. So thanks very much. See you next time.